All right, welcome to The Price is Steven, the show where I have to now open this to let you know that I bought a shirt that says Steven and not Effie. Uh, <laughs> this, this is... Oh, cool. We have audience laughter. I haven't heard that before. <laughs> this is the first, uh, this is the first only and number one show by Stephen Koo about Stephen Koo streaming on Twitch. And today we have three very special guests. Our first special guest is someone who I went to middle school with together, and I believe we were working on a science project together where I did none of the work. Please give it up for Tiramari Jyothi. Hi, Tiramari. Hello. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the show. Uh, yeah, you, did you owe me. You you owe me some papers. I wow. If I had a nickel for every time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's see. I feel like we went to middle school together. We went to high school together, but we were always like circle adjacent. We we were in like different groups of like no one else will hang out with us circles. Mm -hmm. But but the high school was so white that we still got the like, hey, do you know the other goofy brown kid with the silly hat? Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. like, I yeah. know of him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, high school. <laughs> God, we got to do an episode about that sometime. All right, <laughs> moving on next. Uh, she first saw me doing stand-up at the back of a game store to an audience of three people. Please give it up for Natasha. Hi, <laughs> Natasha. Hi, that was a delightful show. Oh, thank you. You were mm -hmm. one of three people there, and you said that, and that meant everything. It thank meant everything. you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you've never seen The Price is Right? No. So you know, do you watch any game shows? Are you familiar with game shows, the format? I, I, I've i watched Wheel of Fortune. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, this is just like Wheel of Fortune, except there's and no prizes. Okay. Oh, well, there's one prize, maybe. If you're really good at the show, you win a prize. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, coming up next, uh, he's the only person I know who might get Max Headroom references if I ever make them. It's Will Scoville. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Will. Steven, thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, Will is the producer behind Nerd Rage The Great Debates. Uh, he's done a lot of other really cool podcast projects that I've also been on, Cathode Ray Mission, where I believe last week – we talked about Mortal Kombat, the new movie, and we all agreed that we regretted watching it a second time for the podcast. <laughs> yes, very much. Yeah, and I'm always learning cool new facts uh, from Will about things that are not relevant at all anymore. But, you know, that might give you advantage with today's episode <laughs> because uh, everything I have this episode is going to be particularly useless. Uh, let's get started. Share yeah. one of those facts. Oh, yeah, Will, you got a fun fact to share with us? Uh, I, oh, man, I don't know. Uh, you're kind of putting me on the spot, so um, I'll think of one and, and, and bring it up later on in the show. Perfect. All right. So this is how the game works. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of questions, well, three questions uh, throughout the show, and these prices do not include shipping or taxes. These are going to be prices around, like, how much did I pay for them, not necessarily retail, because sometimes I find things on the street. Sometimes people give me a present. Uh, sometimes... Things just end up here, and I don't know how they got here. Uh, I So, yeah, so welcome to the show. But before we get started, each person gets to ask Stephen Koo one question about Stephen Koo. And Tiramari, you get to go first. Yeah, uh, I I would like to know, is there anything that you've purchased that you well, – no, actually, what's the one thing that you most regret purchasing out of all this dumb shit that you own? Oh my god. What is the one thing I regret purchasing the most? Ooh. Um that's a tough call. Oh, oh, slap chop. Slap chop. I have a slap chop. <laughs> uh, I, I, I bought it. I, I I slap chopped some onions and I was like, oh, I don't use onions that much. And then I put it <laughs> on a shelf. And, like I don't use slap chopped onions that much when I well, I don't cook that much. I make cereal. I don't need diced onions for cereal. So <laughs> Slap Chop is one of those things. The worst part about that one, the worst part about that one was like the deal that I got to buy it. You had, they gave you a second one for free. And <laughs> I, so I have two, I had two Slap Chops and I only used one once. And so the other one I gave to someone and they stopped talking to me. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, Natasha, you get much. to ask one question. 
okay. What's the dumbest thing you bought that you love still? Oh, dumbest thing I've bought that I love still. Um, I have this, like, they're they're more popular now, but like, I'd say one of the like first dumb things I bought was a Kirigumi. Do you know what those are? They're like, they're like a one piece pajama that's like usually of like a mascot or a character. And I was living in Korea for a year, and I see at the zoo that they're selling a Kirigumi of a tiger on clearance. I was like, <laughs> I gotta get that. It's like a free tiger costume. So I bought it, and um, for a very long time, I was too lazy to do cosplays, and I would just wear that at like movie premieres that had nothing to do with it. So like for the Dark Knight movie premiere, I was dressed as a tiger, and <laughs> I just thought that would be a fun, easy thing to do. And you know, I still have it, and I still get miles out of it. Uh, Will, your turn. One question. Um, how many different kinds of breakfast cereal do you have in your house right now? Ooh, I have three kinds. I have honeycomb, which I hate. I don't like. I don't like it. Um, I bought it because I was making like a furikake mix. Um, I bought Captain Crunch's peanut butter crunch, which is the best cereal of all time. Best cereal of all time. I could eat that forever. That could be like my final meal. That could be my apocalypse. I'd eat it on a desert island forever. Cam Crunch, Peanut Butter Crunch, never get tired of it. And uh, I found uh, the CVS across the street from me sells weird cereals. So I bought a Dunkin' Donuts uh, car caramel latte cereal. Whoa. Here, let me show you guys real quick. I'll be I'll be right back. <laughs> Will, you got one of them facts? Uh, I just learned that um, Jenny McCarthy and Melissa McCarthy are cousins. Ah. Here we go. There you go. Caramel macchiato cereal. This might be a question later wow. on, so I will not tell you how much I... Uh, but yeah, uh, Thud Rubes asked a what mix? It's furikake, you perv. It is a uh, mix of different cereals with like honey and butter, and then you add like that salty, weird seaweed sesame thing that you see on Asian foods. You sprinkle it all over, and then you bake it, and then it's like ridiculously delicious, and it's the greatest thing ever. And there's a place in Berkeley that sells it, so why am I making it for? Anyways, <laughs> all right, let's move on to the questions. Our first category is a Stephen Koo drunken purchase. Stephen Koo likes to buy things drunk sometimes. You know, uh, Pokemon's been pretty popular. It's their 25th anniversary this year, and Pokemon Snap had a remake recently called New Pokemon Snap. And it's a game that I've had a lot of fun with, and I definitely got that. But the question isn't about New Pokemon Snap. It's about the original Pokemon Snap, because I also have that from the N64. I have the N64 version of Pokemon Snap and the new version of new Pokemon Snap. And you're allowed to ask questions, and I may or may not answer them. But the question I'm asking you guys is, which one do you think cost me more? Pokemon Snap or new Pokemon Snap? And Tiramari, you're up first. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so, first question, uh, the N64 cartridge, did you buy that recently? Yeah, I bought it last year. Okay. Uh, I mean, straight up, I, I have been trying to find old N64 games. I've been hoarding them. Shout out to Derek Lipkin for giving me his old ones. Uh, they, they are really going up in price. They are a hot commodity. And I know new Pokemon Snap is the price of a usual game because I didn't buy it because uh, I'm a cheap motherfucker. So... I'm going to say the N64 cartridge, original okay. Pokemon Snap. All right. Natasha, your turn. Tell us what you're thinking. Which one do you think okay. cost me more? Okay, okay, okay. I haven't played the new Pokemon Snap, but the old Pokemon Snap was the coolest thing, and I could only find it when I was a kid in hotel rooms. Whenever I go to hotel rooms, they had Pokemon Snap. Otherwise, we didn't own the game. And I'm just going to say the old Pokemon Snap just because it's priceless. Aw, it's priceless <laughs> in your heart. <laughs> But we live in a capitalist world, so I definitely threw down some <laughs> something for it. Or did I find it off the street? Will, what, tell us what you think. Uh, you know, as someone who has priced uh, N64 cartridges before, I know how expensive they can get. Uh, Wait, what does that the... mean? <laughs> what? You you said as someone who's priced N64 cartridges? Yeah. What was that? Yeah, I, I used to have a 64, and I used to just want to buy games, so I'd oh, shop around it. on eBay, and uh, I'd see how how much like uh, what was that? What was that pseudo sequel to to Goldeneye? Uh, that wasn't Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. Perfect Dark. Yeah, Dark. that one. I think I remember that being really expensive, and then and then Goldeneye, uh, and then I got uh, Mario 64, which was way more expensive than I thought it would be. Um, 
so just based on that and knowing how popular the Pokemon Snap was, I'm going to say the N64 cartridge cost more. Okay. So we've got three answers all saying N64, and the answer is I paid $20 exactly for that Pokemon Snap and fifty-seven twenty-two for new Pokemon Snap. Wow. Because I have some sort of weird membership at Target. <laughs> well, I was relieved after Will's answer since we all chose the same one. It doesn't, it doesn't fucking matter. Wow. Way to shoot down everyone else. Way to yuck everyone's yuck. Tier Mari, thank you very much. I'm all about yuck and yuck. All right. Well, let's see. Our next category is Stephen Koo Eats. Now, as you know, as a human being, sometimes I like to eat food. Uh, I like to eat food, and sometimes it's not always the best food. Sometimes it's not always the best stuff at keeping me alive. But, you know, I'll eat it. Uh, today is a very special kind of food. Uh, I, I have it here with me right now. Now, you guys may remember on a previous stream, I ate on stream for the first time uh, <laughs> mac and cheese candy, and it did not go well. <laughs> uh, but today we've got something else. Um, like I said, PB Cru or Peanut Butter Crunch is one of my favorite cereals. I don't think I'm like a diehard peanut butter fan, but uh, I will say that I do enjoy peanut butter stuff. I've been looking for PB Crisps. It's a discontinued snack. If anybody knows anything like that, please send it my way because – that need has not been sated. But today is something that has been recommended as a potential replacement. If you like peanut butter, well, let me ask you. Hey, Natasha, do you like peanut butter? I'm allergic. Oh, okay. You might not like this next treat because this next treat is peanut butter coated peanut butter. It is, <laughs> <laughs> it is from Skippy. Uh, here you go, PB Bites. And if you ever thought, oh, I love peanut butter, but it's so hard to hold in my fingers while I try to eat it, like Winnie the Pooh, here, it's now available in a ball form. <laughs> and let's try one of these right now. Yeah, that's peanut butter. <laughs> There's no texture difference at all. <laughs> that is definitely just peanut butter covered in peanut butter <laughs> so you look the most disappointed i've seen you on your show <laughs> I, I don't know I, you didn't I see know. the mac and cheese man oh the mac and cheese was way worse you should have yeah. seen when i ate that but we're gonna go in reverse order will tell me do you think i bought skippy's pb bites was it a gift perhaps was it something i found was it a free sample who knows i don't know man i know that i know that you shop at that cvs um, I've been to that CVS. I know what kind of weird stuff they have there. So it might have been something that you saw on the shelf there. Uh, and knowing you, you would have picked it up. Um, but I also know that you, I've been to where you work and I've seen like the kitchen. And I don't know if you're going to the office now. So you're not going to the, end of the office. So it's not something from work. You definitely bought this at the CVS. Okay. Uh, and and uh, you paid a pretty penny for it. All right. All right. Uh, Natasha, tell us what you're thinking. So I know you started by telling us, hey, I'm not a PB freak, but then you described all these PB things. Uh, so I think you definitely bought it. I think you're a PB freak, you bought it. Oh, I'm a PB freak in denial. I'm in <laughs> denial about it. Because, because like, I don't know, Reese's Cups are just like, I was about to say they're not that exciting to me, but I distinctly remember um, when the TV commercial for, for Reese's, why are you still booing me? How long is that boo clip? And <laughs> it's so long. <laughs> When I was uh, watching like TV, and I live by myself, by the way, there was a commercial that said peanut butter, like Reese's peanut butter cups, now with Reese's pieces in it, and I remember saying yes and fist pumping the air, and I lived by myself. <laughs> but that was for no one. <laughs> peanut butter in the street, but a PB freak in the sheets, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. My style uh, is peanut butter covered peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Natasha, you also think I bought it? Tiramari, tell us what you're thinking. I mean, I'd, I'm still kind of hung up on this product and the fact that it exists. I'm kind of hoping there's like bread covered bread or something to go with it. But and jam uh, covered jam. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I, listen, okay. So you're right. People do buy you dumb shit, especially after you started the show. People are buying you dumber and dumber shit. Hey, someone sent me a hammer, and I still <laughs> used it. I'm glad you still have it. I'm glad you're Here's the thing, though. I think that if someone saw it, saw this, they would just think that is such a waste of money 
that they wouldn't even spend it on a dumb gift for you. So I'm also going to say that you bought it. All right. Yeah. And I see uh, Simple D and Thud Rubes in the chat calling to boo me for longer amounts of time. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm, the full mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. The full one. Yep, 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 yep. All right. How long is this clip? <laughs> I'm telling you, it's really long. <laughs> Now I want to know which episode of Friends this was that they got this clip from. <laughs> okay, well here's the answer. No, it was a birthday present. Someone, Damn. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm on a hunt for PB Chris and someone was like, Steven, I think I may have found your answer. Uh, wow, this is the first time I think we've had like a zero for zero, like no points so on the board so far, which means this next one is going to be really important. Uh, let the... Our next category is Stephen Koo's Gallery of Stupid Toys. Uh, I like good. to buy uh, toys nowadays that I think I would particularly hate as a child. I don't know if this is like some sort of self-parenting thing that's going on, but I like to buy toys that are just wildly stupid, not just like in general, but also like in that universe. They don't seem great. Um, some of you may remember a little franchise called The Ghostbusters. And some of you may remember a little cartoon called The Real Ghostbusters because of little copyright problems. <laughs> they couldn't call themselves The Ghostbusters because some British show had already done it. They had to release a cartoon called The Real Ghostbusters. Whoa. And this toy is from The Real <laughs> Ghostbusters. It is a toilet ghost <laughs> called Fearsome Flush. I got this guy right here, midget package. He's a ghost that <laughs> opens his mouth up and down as you run him along the ground. You know, the way toilets do. You know, like yeah. when you run the toilet along the ground and it just starts snapping at you. Uh, welcome to the f the fearsome flush action figure. You know, you can't have, um, yeah, 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 you can't have like a Ghostbuster without some ghosts to bust. I grew with Simple D. I was, I was scared of ghosts in my toilet for a very long time as a child <laughs> because of an Are You Afraid of the Dark episode, which had nothing to do with toilets. It was about an old lady who would show up in like reflective surfaces. And I thought, oh no, she's going to get me <laughs> in the toilets. I mean, the acoustics when you like fart into a toilet is, is mm -hmm. something else, you know, it's shocking. It's concerning. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, what is that purple thing on the. Yes, that's what I'm lid? asking on yeah. like the palette of the mouth. Oh, that I did not notice that. That appears to just be stains. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, who left those stains? Is my second follow-up question. Yeah, well, I don't know if you've ever been to like a, a men's public restroom in a bar, but they all look mm. like that. Uh, I believe by the flesh on his that. eyes, uh, that is the roof of his mouth. Is what that is supposed to be. But why? Wow. Well, I don't. Yeah. I don't have answers. <laughs> yeah, it's unsymmetrical. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, this this ghost has poor dental hygiene. I'll I'll say it. Uh, all right, but I'm guessing how much it is. <laughs> oh God, I don't want to spend any money on this, so it's really hard for me to assign it a value. Uh, I okay. This is a collector's item. Uh, when did you get this, Stephen? Can I ask? This arrived uh, in the. Uh, I got this. Uh, I, it arrived in the mail uh, earlier this week. <laughs> yep. Okay. Cool. It's as recent as I was worried it was. Uh, <laughs> happy thirty third birthday, Stephen. All right. Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's fair quality. Uh, looks like it's still in its original packaging. So I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say fifteen dollars flat. Fifteen dollars is the guess. Uh, Simple D in the chat has guessed eight dollars. Natasha, what are you thinking? Uh, so this was this manufactured a while ago. Like this is a toy from a long time ago. Um, the original toy was manufactured a while ago. This is a remake of that toy. Hmm. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. And they're still making it, huh? Well, uh, they re-released it, I guess, as part of some sort of anniversary for the Ghostbusters cartoon. And it doesn't know. require any batteries. No batteries are needed. No. Uh, does a toilet require batteries, Natasha? <laughs> <laughs> it also doesn't require teeth. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna say seventeen dollars. Seventeen dollars. Uh, Seamus Calder in the chat guesses is twenty five. Thud Rubes is guessing fourteen. Will, what are you guessing? Uh, I think that both those guys are ridiculous. Um, uh, fourteen and twenty five dollars. Come on. Uh, I I was around when when the original line of this came out. I remember this one. Mm -hmm. 
I definitely bought this for some kid I didn't know very well who invited me to his birthday party. <laughs> and, like, I, I, it uh, it was like the the third tier Ghostbusters toy in that line, and um, the fact that they remade this thing. Wow. Okay. I think it's probably the third tier in that remake line, probably as well. So I'm gonna say it's probably like eight dollars that you you paid for this thing. All right. Uh, I'm saying everyone guessing Lowe's giving Steven too much credit. <laughs> the answer is fourteen ninety two. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Uh, I believe. I, I'm sorry. Who guessed closest on that one there, Ben? Tier Mari. Tier Mari. Tier Mari. Hey. You, get, you get the point, which Thank means you. Uh, you qualify for maybe winning the ultimate prize in our last round. Now, Natasha and Will, you still get to play along, but we play the same game at the end of every round. He's 33, oh, wait. lives alone, but does Steven own it? <laughs> Seamus in the chat is right. Uh, it was well, it was 1495, oh, right? 1495. Oh, okay. yeah. Was four, yeah. Yeah, that's oh, my bad. Wins. Will wins. All right. Hey. Will, Will gets closest. All right. All that stuff I said to Tiermari, but to you, Will. All right. <laughs> So we play the same game every time. Uh, we've seen some previous episodes where we found out that I did not own a hammer. I do, uh, you know, it's very like hard to say, like, why do you need a hammer when you can use the back of a shoe? Uh, why do you need um, a colander when you can use four forks between your fingers like Wolverine? <laughs> Natasha really disapproving of my lifestyles. Yeah, that's I wild. Call them. Uh, hacks. They're called life hacks. <laughs> you know, here you guys are living like uh, under un under the capitalist regime of of products you need while I'm living my best life with my toilet ghost action figure. Stephen Koo is the only ethical consumer. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. So let's see uh, what you guys think about whether or not Stephen Koo owns chopsticks, non disposable chopsticks. Um for sticking chops, <laughs> non-disposable chopsticks. Tumari, you get to go first and tell us what you're thinking here. This is such a mind fuck. <laughs> Cause uh, again, I just regret that I never paid attention every time I've been in your home because I feel like I've been in your kitchen so many times. And I don't want to racially profile, but <laughs> I would expect you to own some. Uh, Cause I actually have like a dozen non-disposable chopsticks. <laughs> myself wow. yeah uh uh man all right i i think i think you own it i'm gonna be so upset with you steven if you don't <laughs> okay <laughs> natasha your turn tell us what you're thinking okay here's here's what i'm thinking okay no hammer curious you know no colander curious i know a lot of people who don't have chopsticks, but have those drawers of disposable chopsticks from all of their takeout stuff. And they use those when they want to. Uh, but then he also talked about making some kind of food, which is like, oh, maybe chopsticks. I'm gonna say no chopsticks. All right, no chopsticks. And Will, what are you thinking? I think that you, okay. So I imagine that you're, you have like a whole bunch of uh, like collector's toothbrushes that you've never opened. <laughs> And in that sense, I think that you have like Star Wars chopsticks. I think you have more than one set of Marvel chopsticks, maybe some Harry Potter chopsticks. That's a great I, idea. I, 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 think, I think that those are the kinds of chopsticks that you have, and they are non-disposable technically, even though you may not be actually using them. So I do think you have chopsticks. Very, very interesting. And the poll right uh, now is guessing 75% of the audience thinks I do own chopsticks. Ben, what were you going to say? I'm just going to say when when the reveal happens, I always use the same sound effect for the reveal. This is going to sound problematic, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, so. Okay, here it is. Here it is. <laughs> oh, thank God. Ben. Yeah. And right. that's our producer behind the scenes just really, really sticking it to you. You know it's AAPI month, Ben, and I just don't find this appropriate at all. <laughs> all right the answer is yes i have chopsticks and here you can see me using them on toast the way <laughs> you're supposed to <laughs> okay um <laughs> let's see so uh, who, uh so will you guess that i do own chopsticks which means you win today's prize and today's prize is in fact 
a you know with the pandemic coming to uh nearing its end a lot of people are starting to get their hair cut again this is an instructional card on how to get the steven haircut oh, wow. this, is, <laughs> this includes instructions on how to get my haircut uh, and you can use it at home because that's how i cut my hair right now i cut it at home and it's perfect the instructions Excellent. say Start by setting your electric razor to zero and shave the bottom and sides unevenly as it is harder to use your left hand. <laughs> so the back should tilt slightly to the right. Then set your length to eight and try your best on everything else. It will not go well. <laughs> <laughs> you win an instructional card for that. And before we get out of here, is there anything you guys would like to plug, Tiramari? Yeah, uh, T-I-R-U-M-A-R-I. You can Google me and I'm on social media. I'll be doing more stand-up because your boy is vaccinated. Hey, congrats. Natasha, how about yourself? Yeah, yeah, I'm on all the social medias. Natasha Vinick, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, yada, yada, yada. All right. And Will, anything you want to plug? Uh, yeah, Cathode Ray Mission podcast, uh, movie reviews every week, Subdoc podcast, uh, documentary reviews every two weeks, uh, Nerd Rage, The Great Debates, uh, arguing about fun stuff uh, every week. Cool. And Ben, behind the scenes, runs an amazing D&D &D game on Monday nights on this very same channel. I super recommend it. He's a great DM, and I don't know if you soundboard during that one, but I hope so. <laughs> I have voice changers, and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. Well, uh, everyone have a great night. We'll be back next week where we'll be doing a special wrestling-themed episode. Uh, so we'll take a look at all the random pro wrestling stuff I own. Steven's into pro wrestling? That's weird. Anyways, <laughs> have a good night, everyone. Do 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 do